<laughs> oh, this is such a good crowd. They really do awesome music here. All right, guys. <laughs> I thought I can work. I can work this. Oh, see, I can make this work. I worked at Radio Shack for a while. <laughs> Oh, this is a great night. All right. Wait a minute now. We're going to do a sing-along. We're just going to blow all the asphalt off that roof. We're going to blow this room away tonight. This is a sing-along. I will teach you the words. It's really easy. Anybody can do it. It goes like this. I'll teach you the words. Here we go. All right, here we go. It's, it's a sing-along. It goes like this. Here we go. All right, here we go. Those are the words. Everybody can get this one. Wait, these guys are coming by. Come on back in, Dad. Come on. Good. Glad you made it back. All right. The words are, here we go. I say three words in this song, and then you guys, like one big giant gospel choir will shout, here we go. I say three words in this song. You say, here we go. That's awesome. Three words in my song, everybody. Here we go. Ow! Lord, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to thank you so much for sending me to Grace Church in Dumfries. I know they said there'd be a comedian tonight. You thought, all right, a comedian. Maybe they'll have Jay Leno, Chris Rock, Jeff Dunham. Maybe they'll have somebody good. Then I walked up here. And you're all saying, who is this? Well, my name is Taylor Mason. And I'm someone you can afford. I'm a coupon comedian. Look at all the married women. Coupon? Well, who cares if he's funny? We're getting a deal. Load up. Three words in my song. Come on, y'all. Oh, we're there now. And I'm not here to give you an artificially induced religious experience tonight. Because at Grace Church, they only give you the real thing, if you know what I'm talking about. I flew into Woodbridge International. That is a small airport up in Woodbridge. You see Woodbridge International from 10,000 feet, you land, it's the same size. I jumped into my rental car, started driving here to do the program for you guys. Went past all these towns. I went past a little place called Alexandria. I went past Washington, D.C. I went past a little place called Landover, Maryland. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> so I turned around, I come back headed this way until I got picked up, pulled over, stopped and arrested by a Virginia state trooper. He said, young man, do you know why I pulled you over? I said, because my car smells like a donut. He did not have that reaction. He said, you were going 53 and a 35. I said, I'm dyslexic. Three words in my song. Come on, y'all. Oh, you're getting there. There's some older folks here, and I'm loud and I'm noxious. Let's get them involved. Welcome to the Holiday Inn. Here we go. A little hip hop for the young folks. A short rap. I wrote it. 
It's all about our national park system. This is a short rap. It's all about our national park system. A short hip hop track. All about our national park system. Yo, Semity. That's it. Yo, Semity, dog. Gotta cover everybody. Are there any teenage guys here? Any teenage men? Let me hear from the teenage men. Where are you? Where are the teenage guys? There's a few of them. Everybody else? Everybody else? Gotcha, buddy. Cover, everybody else, cover your ears. I was at one time a, a Christian man in my teens, and it's tough for a whole bunch of reasons, but I respect you, my friends. The Christian world is tough for a young teenage guy. A lot of us know exactly what I'm talking about because the secular world will not let up, and they have things that we don't have in the Christian world, like pickup songs until tonight. <laughs> This is the Christian man's pickup song. Met her at a church social, and she was talking to a whole bunch of men. She said, can any of you boys prove to me you're Christian? I said, excuse me, nice to meet you. I'll take first dibs. I couldn't help but notice, girl, you've got one of my ribs. Yeah, you do. <laughs> know your Bible if you're gonna watch my show. Lord, I want to thank you. And there's a lot of people brought some babies here. A few years ago, I wrote an album of lullabies. 104 lullabies on a one CD set. Nobody's ever heard anything past the second track because they fall asleep. Which is unfortunate because the third track is the heavy metal lullaby. And I'm going to sing it tonight. Little one, day is done. We had fun. My little one. Day is done, my little one. Even though we had fun, little one. Yeah! Go to sleep. There's a monster under the bed. <laughs> he's hungry and he's calling your name. He's from Berg Center. <laughs> Three words in my song. Come on, y'all. I grew up, I went to a little tiny country church, the Deer Park Memorial First Baptist Congregational Lutheran Episcopalian <laughs> Presbyterian uh, Synagogue and Temple. And my piano teacher, and there's people here that will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Back in the day, before they had these monster keyboards, you had to be able to play with your left hand. It's called stride piano. It's old fashioned. Mrs. Randall, my piano teacher, said, if you can play like this, you'll be the hit of every party. I got hit at every party. <laughs> that just wasn't my style because I'm a child of the 1970s. And if you, for the young people that are here, if you're under the age of 20, back when the, in the 70s when I was a little boy, all they played in the radio was 70s music. <laughs> and you could never understand the singers. There was this guy on the Doobie Brothers named Michael McDonald. And whenever I heard his songs, it always sounded like, You don't know me, but on your own. <laughs> <laughs> 
You guys having a good time in here tonight? This is Grace Church. This is how we do. Three words in my song, everybody. Everybody. 